everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel, and welcome back to the 1991 playoffs in Payoff Pitch Baseball. We're all set for Game 6 of the World Series tonight. The Pittsburgh Pirates have outscored, outscored the Oakland Athletics by a score of 27-6 in the last two games to take a three games to two lead. As such, the World Series trophy is in the house tonight in Three Rivers Stadium in Pittsburgh, along with what I'm expecting to be a full house and a sellout, as the Pirates have a chance to win the World Series at home. But they'll have to go through a very game Oakland lineup to get there. With that musing out of the way, as the fans start filing into Three Rivers Stadium, let's go ahead and meet our starting pitchers. And first up, we'll take a look at Oakland's starting pitcher. In order to get this series to Thursday night for Game 7, Oakland is going to give the ball to their game to the Game 3 winning pitcher, Mike Moore. He got a little bit peppered in Game... He got a little bit peppered in Game 3 of the World Series, but he managed to pick up the win for the Athletics. 17-8 with a 2.96 ERA, 210 innings pitched, 176 hits, 11 homers, 105 walks, and 153 strikeouts in 91. So he'll be charged with keeping another powerful Pirates lineup in check tonight. With that, speaking of the Pirates, let's go meet their starting pitcher and we'll take our first look at Three Rivers Stadium. Mike Moore is a righty, by the way. Starting pitcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates is their Game 3 starter who took the loss in that game, lefty John Smiley. 20-8 with a 3.08 ERA, 207 and two-thirds innings pitched, 194 hits, 17 homers, 44 walks, 129 strikeouts in 91. Three Rivers Stadium, very much a pitcher's park. Same exact same wheelhouse check on both sides on ballpark chances, so any switch hitters will be batting on the opposite side of the pitcher. So against the lefty Smiley, switch hitters will be batting righty. With that musing out of the way, let's move over to the main game area and check the shot over there. It is a sea of black and gold tonight at Three Rivers Stadium. There's not an empty seat to be found. Everybody wants to see the Pirates hopefully win the World Series tonight, hopefully if you're a Pirates fan. Before we get there, though, we have a few, couple more orders of business to take care of. First off, if the fans in Three Rivers Stadium will please rise and remove their hats and head coverings, we'll have the playing of our national anthem. And now if you'll direct your attention to the mound, we've got another friend of the channel in Poltergeist Board Games to throw out the first pitch. So Polter, if you would. Thank you for the first pitch. He's dabbling in war games, so feel free to give his channel a look and a sub. I'll put a link as always in the, in the description down below. With that in mind, let's play ball. As the Pirates start to get loose in the field, we'll take our first look at Oakland's starting lineup. Leading off, we've got Jamie Quirk catching, Vance Law is at third base, Jose Canseco is in right field, Ricky Henderson is in left field, Dave Henderson is in center field, Mike Gallego is at second base, Mark McGuire is at first base, Walt Weiss is at shortstop, and Mike Moore, the pitcher, is hitting off of pitcher hitting card three. We're back at a National League stadium, so the, des the DH is no longer a thing for the rest of the series, along with the fast score house rule no longer being in effect. 
Leading off the game for the Pirates, we've got Jamie Quirk. He hit one homer in 91, but that was against right-handed pitching, and Smiley is, of course, a lefty. We are going to be using black, gold, and white dice tonight. Pirates are the home team. Game 6 of the World Series. A's win. Game 7 is on Thursday. Pirates win. This replay is over, except for a wrap-up show that I'm going to be doing later this week. Smiley will look in to Lavalier for the sign. He will set Three River Stadium on their feet, hoping to see the Pirates win the World Series. But will they, or will we, will, or will we be back on Thursday night for Game 7? Only the dice know, and in order to find out what the dice want to tell us, we have to go to the first pitch. 8 is going to be a patient 33, and Quirk's going to lead off the game with ball 4 as a slider misses the zone, and Quirk is on with a leadoff walk. And Game 6 of the World Series is officially underway. And here's Vance Law stepping into the batter's box. No homers on either side in 91. Pirates will go to double play depth. Quirk, not a danger to do much on the base paths. The A's will keep him at first. Smiley will look into Lavalier for the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. Four is a ballpark check. 55 is in play, though. And a 97 is going to be a fly ball into left field. Bonds will get under that one, ranging in slightly for that one. He'll make the catch, and that's the first out of the inning. And stepping into the batter's box now, the ever-dangerous Jose Canseco. Eight of his 44 home runs coming against left-handed pitching. Smiley will look into Lavalier for the sign. Pirates are still at double play depth. Smiley will set. Here's the kick, and here's the pitch. Ten is a tough 98, and once again, Bonds is going to get under, get into that one. As Canseco lifts that one into left field, Bonds going back for this one this time, but he'll make the catch, and that's out number two. Two outs, here's Ricky Henderson. Henderson hit eight of his 18 home runs against left-handed pitching, and Henderson's got great power against lefties. Smiley will look into Lavalier for the sign. He will set... And here's the pitch. 10 is a tough 99. And repeat after me, kids. Fly ball into left field. Bonds will this time range to his left to get that one. He'll make the catch, and that will retire the side. Barry Bonds makes all three putouts after Smiley gives up a leadoff walk that the A's can't do anything with. Score is now Oakland 0, Pittsburgh coming to bat. And as the A's start to get loose in the field, we'll take our first look at the Pirates' starting lineup. Leading off for the Pirates, we've got Mike Lavalier catching tonight. Gary Reedus is, in, is at first base. Barry Bonds is in left field. Bobby Bonilla is at third base. Yeah, third base. Andy Van Slyke is in center field. Gary Varsho is in right field. Jay Bell is at shortstop. Curtis Wilkerson is at second base. And John Smiley also hits off of pitcher hitting card three. That's the lineup Mike Moore is going to have to keep in check if he's planning on getting the A's back here for game seven on Thursday. Leading off for the Pirates is Mike Lavalier. All three of his home runs coming against right-handed pitching. Moore will look into Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Five is going to be a patient 82. Not quite that patient. That's going to be a fly ball into center field. That will be Henderson making that play slightly on the run, but that is good enough for out number one. And here's Gary Reedus. Two of his seven home runs coming against right-handed pitching. More Looks into Quirk for the sign. Moore will set. Here's the windup, and here comes the pitch. Seven is going to be a patient 67, and against the righty, Reedus will get a hold of that one, and that's going to be a double. Dangerous situation already if you're an Oakland fan. Got a runner on second suddenly with one out, 
and the very dangerous Barry Bonds on his way to the plate. 18 of his 25 home runs coming against right-handed pitching. Reedus is a jump of 5 against a hold of 8 into a B3. Jump of 5, hold of 8. B3 is a very good chance. They're not going to send him, though. Bonds has got great power and an excellent eye. Moore will look into Quirk for the sign. Three River Stadium buzzing, hoping for a good hit. Moore will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a tough 99. That's a fly ball into right field. Canseco will get to that one. He'll make the catch for out number two. Reedus should have enough speed to make third. And... You, actually, he'll automatically make third. Two outs in the inning. And here comes Bobby Bonilla. Bonilla hit four of his 18 home runs against right-handed pitching. Moore will look into Quirk for the sign. Three River Stadium still hoping for a good hit. Moore will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a tough 35. And against the righty, Benil will get a hold of that one. He'll get that into left field for a base hit, and the Pirates will strike first. As Reedus will come in to score, Benil will make first. Score is now 1-0 in favor of the Pirates. Stadium cheers. Yay! Here's Andy Van Slyke. 13 of his 17 home runs coming against right-handed pitching. Bonilla, not a threat to do much on the base paths, and they wouldn't run with two outs anyway. Moore will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a patient 52, and that's ball four. Moore loses control of a slider, and Van Slyke will find himself on with a two-out walk. Here's Varsho. Varsho hit... All four of his home runs against right-handed pitching. Bonilla at second. Van Slyke at first. Three River Stadium buzzing. Already one nothing Pirates, and the Pirates want more. Moore will look into Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a patient 29. And just like that, the bases are full of Buccaneers. As Varsho... What lays off a curveball that's headed out of the zone. And now Varsho finds himself on with a two-out walk. And the bases are full of Buccaneers for Jay Bell. Ten of his 16 home runs coming against right-handed pitching. Three Rivers Stadium on their feet. They know this is a situation. They should get a lot of runs in. Moore will look into Quirk for the sign. He will set. Moore looks nervous. He looks over to Bonilla at third. Van Slyke at second. Varsho at first. Turns back to Bell at the plate. Moore will kick. Here's the pitch. Six is going to be a tough 24. And Bell's going to swing through the high heat for strike three. And that will retire the side as the Pirates leave him loaded. Stadium groans. Ugh. But one run on two hits and two walks. And the score is one nothing Pirates after one. So the fans probably aren't doing too much groaning in the grand scheme of things. Top of the second, we'll see the middle of Oakland's order do up next. Smiley finishes up his warm-up tosses as stepping into the batter's box is Dave Henderson. Eight of his 25 home runs coming against left-handed pitching in 91. Smiley will look in at Lavalier for the sign. He will set. one nothing Pirates. Game 6 of the World Series. Top of the second. Pirates win. This replay's over. A's win. Game 7 is on Thursday. Smiley will wind up. Here's the kick, and here's the pitch. Six is going to be a tough 64. And Henderson is going to ground that one over to third. Bonilla ranging to his left for that one. But he'll make the play over to first. And that's out number one. Henderson realized he couldn't get a hold of that one. 
Here's Gallego. Gallego. Here's Mike Gallego. He hit five of his 12 home runs against left-handed pitching. Smiley will look in at Lavalier for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Six is a tough four. Gaia goes frozen by a curveball on the outside corner for strike three, and that's out number two. Here's Mark McGuire for the first time. Five of his 22 home runs in 91, coming against left-handed pitching. Smiley looks in at Lavalier for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a patient 39, and that's ball four. McGuire will extend the inning with a two-out walk. Here's Walt Weiss. No homers on either side in 91. Smiley looking in at Lavalier for the sign. One nothing Pirates. Smiley trying to get out of the second. Smiley will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is an in-play 26, and he's just going to miss it. That's going to get lifted, lifted on the infields to second base. Wilkerson getting under that one, ranging to his left. He'll make the catch, and that will retire the side. Nothing across except for the walk for the, for the A's, and the score remains one nothing as we head into the bottom of the second. Fans are probably going to be loud all night as the Pirates are looking at the bottom of their order. Leading off the bottom of the second is Curtis Wilkerson. Both of his home runs coming against right-handed pitching in 91. Moore will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a tough 79, and Wilkerson's going to lift that one into center field. Getting under that one is going to be Dave Henderson. He'll make the catch for out number one. And here's John Smiley. As always, no individualized pitcher hitting stats on the pitcher hitting cards. Moore will look in at Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Six is going to be a tough 26, and Smiley gets frozen by a slider on the outside corner for strike three, and that's out number two. Two outs now, and here's Mike Lavalier. Lavalier flew out his first time up. Moore looking in at Quirk for the sign. One nothing Pirates. Moore will set, and here's the pitch. Five is going to be a patient eight. Very easily ball four. Lavalier will reach with a two-out walk. Here's Gary Reedus. Reedus is one for one with a double. And he scored the only Pirates run, the only run so far. Moore will get the sign from Quirk. Moore will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is going to be an in-play 55. That's a ground ball over to third. Picking that one up is going to be Law ranging to his left. He'll make the play over to second. They'll take the out there, and that will retire the side. Nothing across except the walk for the Pirates. Remains, score remains one nothing Pittsburgh after two. Top of the third. We'll see the top of Oakland's order do up next. Smiley finishes up his warm-up tosses as Mike Moore steps into the batter's box. Like with when Smiley came to bat earlier, no individual batting stats. Smiley will look into Lavalier for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a patient 49, and that's a fly ball into right field. Getting under that one is going to be Varsho. He'll make the play on the run, and that's out number one. Here's Quirk. Quirk reached on a walk his first time up. Smiley will look into Lavalier for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. 
12 is a defense check. Where's that ball being hit? It's a fly ball into right field on a possible error chance. Going after that ball is going to be Varsho. His error rating in right field is a 5. He's going to boot that one, and that's going to be... That's going to be a one base error. Quirk will be safe at first, as Varsh, Varsho is going to have it, drop it, and that's get, he'll get it in quickly. So that's an E9. The infield will go to double play depth, as here's Law. Law today is 0 for 1. He flew out his first time up. Smiley would love a ground ball here. Law hits into a decent amount of double plays. Smiley gets the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is a patient 76. And against the left, against the lefty, actually no. Yep, against the lefty, that's going to be a base hit for Law. Line drive into center field. Runner on first advances one base. So Quirk will find himself at, Quirk will find himself at second Law will be at first on the first Oakland hit of the day. Infield still at double play depth. Very scary situation if you're Oakland. And now here's Canseco. Canseco flew out his first time up. Infield still at double play depth. Trying to get the double play ball to get out of this inning. Smiley will look into Lavalier for the sign. He will set. Actually, I'm going to do a little bit of layout adjustment here. Smiley will set. Here's the pitch. Three is a tough 91. That's a ground ball over to short. Picking that one up is going to be Bell. Let's see if they turn the double play here. Eight, seven or less on 2D6. The Pirates get out of the inning. No! Law will be thrown out at, thir at second. Canseco will reach on the fielder's choice, but there are two outs in the inning. Quirk will make it to third. We've got runners at the corners for Ricky Henderson. Henderson today, though, is 0 for 1. He flew out his first time up. Fans at Three Rivers Stadium, nervous. They're hoping for a good pitch. Smiley will look over to Quirk at third. Canseco at first. Henderson at the plate. Smiley will get the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the pitch. Two is an in-play 61. It's a fly ball into right field. Varsho will range back for that one slightly, but he'll slow down, make the catch, and that will retire the side. An error and a base hit and a fielder's choice, but the A's are not able to do anything with it. Score remains 1-0 heading into the bottom of the third. Stadium size. Phew! That was a scary situation if you're a Pirates fan. Leading off the bottom of the third, Barry Bonds ever dangerous, but he flew out his first time up. Moore will look in to Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Three is an in-play 22, and against a righty, Bonds will lead off the inning, and that's going to be a base hit that gets out of the infield. Stepping into the batter's box next is Bobby Bonilla. Bonilla today is one for one with a single. Infield will go to double play depth, but Bonds has got great speed. Uh, he would be a B3, which is a very good chance. They're going to see if they can send Bonds. A 77 or less, he gets the jump. That's a 96. Bonds will stay put. Moore will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. Turn to Bonilla at the plate. Moore will kick. And here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a patient 88. And against the righty, Bonilla will get a hold of that one. And that's going to be a base hit. Hard grounder into, into right field. So that's going to be an S9. Runner on first advances one base. So on the S... So on the S9, 
Bonilla will put Bonds at second, and he'll go to first. And there's still nobody out in the inning. And another very dangerous situation. If you're an A's fan, here's Andy Van Slyke. Van Slyke reached on a walk his first time up. Could they try to send Bonds to third again? I think they are going to try. You want to get Bonds in a scoring position, although Bonilla's, although Van Slyke's got pretty good power. They're going to try to send Bonds, actually. A 77 or less, he gets the jump. That's a 90. Bonds will stay put. The A's are sensing that the Pirates are willing to do anything to end this series tonight. So they're trying to, they're trying to play tight on defense. Moore will turn to deal with Van Slyke. He will get the sign from Quirk. Moore will set. Here's the pitch. 10 is going to be a tough 31. And Van Slyke's going to swing through the high heat for strike three. And that's out number one. Here's Varsho. Varsho today is... He reached on a walk his first time up. Are they going to try to send Bonds again? I don't think so. Not now, because Varsho's got pretty good power. Moore will turn to deal with Varsho. Moore will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is an in play 51. That's a ground ball over to third. Picking that one up is going to be... Law, let's see if they turn the double play. It's going to be a 5 or less on 2d6. So not a good chance. No! Bonds will make third. Bonilla will be thrown out at second. Varsha will reach on the fielder's choice. But there are two outs in the inning. And here's J. Bell. Bell today struck out swinging his first time up. Bonds at third, Varsho at, at first. Two outs in the inning. Moore will turn a deal with Bell. Moore will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. Here's the pitch. 10 is a tough 21. And Bell's going to get frozen by a changeup on the inside corner for strike three. That will retire the side. Two hits, but the Pirates can't do anything with them. Score remains 1-0 Pirates after three. Stadium groans. Ugh. Top of the fourth, we'll see the middle of Oakland's order do up next. Smiley will finish up his warm-up tosses, arguing that his defense, that his offense should have him staked to more than a 1-0 lead. And I can't say he's wrong. But leading off the top of the fourth for the A's, Dave Henderson. He grounded out his first time up, though. Smiley will look into Lavalier for the sign. Smiley will set. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 19. And Henderson's going to get frozen by a splitter. That just catches the bottom of the zone for strike three, and that's out number one. Here's Gallego. Gallego tonight is 0 for 1. He struck out looking his first time up. Smiley will get the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. 10 is a tough 13. And Gallego gets frozen by a curveball on the inside corner for strike three, out number two. Two outs. Here's Mark McGuire. McGuire today is reached on a walk his first time up. Smiley looking into Lavalier for the sign. one nothing Pirates, top of the fourth. Game six of the World Series. Smiley will set. Here's the windup. Here's the pitch. Oop, get in the tower. There we are. Eight is a patient 55. McGuire will extend the inning with ball four as a slider misses the zone. And McGuire's on with a two-out walk. 
Here's Walt Weiss. Weiss today is 0 for 1. He flew out his first time up. McGuire, not a threat to do much on the base paths. He will hold. Weiss will brace for the pitch. Smiley will get the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the pitch. Six is going to be a tough 45. And it's lined right to short. Putting up his glove in self-defense is going to be Bell. The ball will slam into it, and that will retire the side. Nothing across except the walk for the A's. Score remains 1-0 as we head into the bottom of the fourth. Moore will finish his warm-up tosses as he's looking at the bottom of the Pirates' order. Leading off the bottom of the fourth, Curtis Wilkerson. Wilkerson flew out his first time up. Moore... Looking in at Quirk for the sign. Three Rivers Stadium knows a win tonight. Wins them the World Series. Moore will set. He will wind up and he will pitch. Now he will pitch. Five is a patient 20. And that's just barely ball four. Wilkerson will work a leadoff walk out of the at-bat. The infield will go to double play depth, actually, with John Smiley coming up again. He's 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. The infield is going to bring the corners in, expecting him to bunt. And predictably, he will lay down the bunt. Now, that's barely going to be a good sacrifice. Bunted just a little bit hard enough. Just a, Bunted just hard enough. But the, but the catcher will only have the one play over to first. Wilkerson will reach second on the sacrifice, and that's one out. Close. That was almost a little bit too hard. But Smiley will get the bunt down, and he'll advance Wilkerson over to second base. Here's Lavalier. Lavalier today is 0 for 1 with a walk. Could they try to send Wilkerson over to third? Uh, he would be a jump of 4 against a hold of 8. That would be a 63 or less to get the jump. He'd be a C3, which is a normal. They're going to hold Wilkerson at second base and rely on Lavalier making good contact. So, no steal happening here. Moore will turn to Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. Four is a tough 97. That's a fly ball into right field. Canseco will get under that one on the run. He'll make the catch for out number two. On the fly ball, however, Wilkerson will make third. Two outs, and here's Gary Reedus. Reedus today is one for two with a double. Three River Stadium hoping for a good hit. They know one nothing is not that safe a lead. Especially with this A's lineup that they're facing. Moore will get the sign... From Quirk, Wilkerson over at third. Wilkerson, Moore will set. Here's the pitch. Two is a wheelhouse 12, and well, contact doesn't get better than that because that comes with a boom! That ball is hit high. That ball is hit deep to left field. Ricky Henderson going back for that one. He's back to the track, back to the wall, and that ball is gone. Home run, Gary Reedus. That's what the score is going to. Score is now 3-0 in favor of the Pirates. Stadium cheers. Yay! And here's Barry Bonds. Bonds today is 1-for-2 with a single. 3-0 Pirates. Moore's got to shake that one off pronto. He's got to have instant amnesia tonight. Moore will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is going to be an in-play 85. That's a ground ball over to second. Picking that one up is going to be Gallego. He'll make the play over to first. That will retire the side. Two runs, a walk, a sacrifice hit, and a two-run home run by Gary Reedus. And the score is now 3-0 Pittsburgh after four. We're getting ready for the top of the fifth which we'll see the top of the Oakland order do up next.
Smiley will finish up his warm-up tosses as stepping into the batter's box is Mike Moore. Moore today is 0 for 1. He's got to swing the bat a little bit better than pitchers normally do. Smiley will get the sign from Lavalier. Three River Stadium, now much happier, staked to a 3-0 lead. Smiley's got to be feeling mighty good now. Smiley will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Seven is a tough 23, and Moore, Moore looks at a changeup on the outside corner for strike three, and that's out number one. Moore appears to be looking at it like, what's this thing on my shoulder for? One out, and here's Quirk. Quirk today is doesn't actually have an official at bat. He's reaching on a walk and an error. Smiley will look into Lavalier for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough one, and Quirk's frozen by the high heat for strike three, and that's out number two. Two outs, and here's Vance Law. Law today is one for two with a single. Smiley gets the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Two is an in-play 64. That's going to be a ground ball over to second. Ranging to his left for that one is going to be Wilkerson, but he'll make the play over to first, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the A's in the top of the fifth. Score remains 3-0 in favor of the Pirates. Moore will finish up his warm-up tosses as he's looking at the middle of the Pirates' order. Leading off the bottom of the fifth is going to be Bobby Bonilla. Bonilla today is 2 for 2 with two singles. 3-0 Pirates, Game 6 of the World Series. Pirates win, replay is over. A's win, Game 7 is on, Monday, is on Thursday. Moore looks into Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here comes the pitch. Five is a patient 63, and easily ball four. Slider misses the zone, and Bonilla will lead off the inning with a walk. Oop, not one out. A's will go to double play depth, and here's Andy Van Slyke. Van Slyke today is 0 for 1 with a walk. Bonilla, not a threat to do much on the base pass. He will stay put. Moore will look in at Quirk for the sign. Moore will set. He'll glance over to Bonilla at first. Turn back to the plate. Moore will kick, and here's the pitch. Three is an in-play 77. That's a fly ball into center field. Dave Henderson ranging in for that one. But he'll have plenty of room before the infield, and that will be out number one. One out, here's Gary Varsho. Varsho today is 0 for 1. A walk, and he reached on a fielder's choice. Infield still at double play depth. Benia still not doing much on the base paths. Moore will look in to Quirk for the sign. Moore will set. Here's the pitch. Two is a wheelhouse 17, and Varsho is going to get a hold of that one and extend the Pirates' lead with a boom! That ball is hit high. That ball is hit deep to right field. Canseco going back for that one. He's back to the track, back to the wall, and that one is in the fourth row and gone. Home run, Gary Varsho. And the score is now... 5 nothing in favor of the Pirates. Stadium cheers. Yay! The Pirates seem to be picking up right where they left off in Game 5. Here's Jay Bell. Bell today is 0 for 2. He struck out twice. The A's are going to start getting activity in the bullpen. They're going to get... I think we're taking the gloves off for the A's tonight. Because if they... If they lose here, there's no tomorrow. They're going to get Joe Slosarski warming up in the Oakland bullpen. They need relief badly. They're going to need long relief, it looks like.
So two outs and we've got activity in the activity is actually one out and we've got activity in the Oakland bullpen. Moore is going to try to get the A's out of the inning, but he's having a very bad night. He picked a very bad night to have a rough outing. Moore will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is an in play 56. That's a fly ball into right field. Canseco will make that play on the run, and that's out number two. Two outs, here's Curtis Wilkerson. Wilkerson today is 0 for 1 with a walk. Moore looks into Quirk for the sign. 5 0 Pirates, game six of the World Series. Moore will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Five is going to be a patient 10. Wilkerson will extend the inning with ball four as a curveball gets away from as a curveball gets away from Moore. And that's going to be a two-out walk. And here's John Smiley. Smiley today is 0 for 1 with a sacrifice hit. But he's got to swing the bat here. Moore will get the sign from Quirk. Moore will set. Here's the pitch. 9 is going to be an in-play 2. And against the righty, Smiley's going to help out his own cause. And that's going to be a double. Wilkerson will come in to score. Smiley will slide into second with a double. Remember, extra base advancement with two outs. Score is now 6-0 in favor of the Pirates. Stadium cheers. Yay! Smiley jumping up and down in second going DH. I don't need no stinking DH. Moore is tired. Moore is fatigued now. Stepping into the batter's box will be Mike Lavalier. Lavalier today is over two with the walk, and that's going to be it for Moore. He picked a very bad night to get shelled. I'll compile stats for him real quick. 4.2 gave up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven hits, six runs, all earned. One, two, three, four, five, six. Struck out. One, two, three, four. Four no hit batters, no box, no wild pitches. Faced. He went through the lineup three times. Coming into pitch is going to be Joe Slusarski. Five and seven with a 5.27 ERA, 109 and a third innings pitched. 121 hits, 14 homers, 52 walks, 60 strikeouts, and 91. The A's need to stop this carnage desperately. Susarski will look into Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. 10 is an in-play 25. And against the righty, Lavalier will get a hold of that one, and that's going to be a base hit. Actually, is that a base hit or... Yes, that is a base hit. Smiley will come in to score. Lavalier will go to first with a single. And the score is now... 7 nothing in favor of the Pirates. Stadium cheers. Yay! Smiley helping out his own cause tonight. So that was actually, uh, no, I think John, I think Smiley came, or not Smiley, Joe Slusarski came in against Lavalier. Yeah. So actually the run front, so that run was still Moore's. Anyway, stepping into the batter's box now is Gary Reedus. Reedus is two for three with a double and a two-run home run. Seven-nothing Pirates. Not a time for Oakland bullpen to have a meltdown. Slusarski will look into Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. Five is a tough 26. And Reedus is going to swing through the high heat for strike three. And that will mercifully 
retire the side, but the damage may have been done. Three, actually, there should be a fourth run, I think. One, two, three. Yep, four runs on three hits, two walks, and a two-run home run by Gary Varsho. And the score is now 7 nothing Pirates after five. Five or six? Five. Top of the sixth, we'll see the heart of the A's order do up next. The Pirates came home tonight with plans on ending this World Series. Smiley will finish his warm-up tosses as he's going to be facing the heart of the Oakland order. Here's Canseco. Canseco tonight is 0 for 2. He reached on a fielder's choice back in the third. Smiley will look in at Lavalier for the sign. Smiley will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Three is going to be a tough 66. And against, actually no, I was going to say, against the lefty, Canseco is going to swing through a slider for strike three, and that's out number one. Here's Ricky Henderson with one out. Henderson tonight is 0 for 2. Pirates trying to finish this series tonight. A's trying to get us back here for Thursday for game seven. Smiley will get the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the windup. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 21. And Henderson's going to swing through the high heat for strike three, out number two. Two outs, and here's Dave Henderson. Henderson today is 0 for 2. Smiley, looking into Lavalier for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here comes the pitch. Nine is going to be an in-play 99. That's a fly ball into left field. Bonds going back for that one, but he'll have grass before the track. He'll make the catch, and that will retire the side. One, two, three, go the A's in the top of the sixth. Score is still 7 nothing in favor of the Pirates. Slusarski will finish up his warm-up tosses as he's got to face the heart of the Pirates' order next. Leading off the bottom of the sixth, Barry Bonds. Bonds today is one for three with a single. Luzarski knows a mistake here. Probably put, well, the game might already be out of reach at this point. Slusarski will look into Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. Seven is going to be an in play 35, and it's popped up on the infield. Getting under that one is going to be law and foul territory, but he'll make the catch. Route number one. Next up is Bonilla. Bonilla today is two for two with two singles and a walk. Slusarski will look into Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here is the pitch. Five is going to be a tough 78, and it's a fly ball into center field. Dave Henderson ranging in for that one and slightly to his right, but he'll make the catch, and that's out number two. Here's Andy Van Slyke. Van Slyke tonight is 0 for 2 with the walk. Pirates have outscored the A's 27-6 in the last two games. They lead game 6-7-0. Pirates win, replay is over. A's win. Game 7 is Thursday. Slusarski will set. He will get the sign from Quirk. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. 8 is going to be a patient 69. And against the righty, Van Slyke is going to get a hold of that one. He's going to smack that into the gap all the way to the wall, and he's going to end up at third with a stand-up triple. Stadium cheers. Yay! Here's Varsho. Varsho is one for two with a walk and a two-run homer. Wouldn't the Pirates love for him to hit another one here? Slusarski 
looking over at Van Slyke at third, looking nervous. Slusarski will turn to Quirk. He will get the sign. He will set. Here comes the pitch. Eight is going to be a patient 34. And that's ball four. Varsha will work a two-out walk of his own out of the at-bat. And Slusarski does not seem to be holding it together here. Here's Jay Bell. Bell today is 0 for 3. We're going to get some more activity. We're not going to get activity in the Oakland bullpen just yet. We're not too far from it, though. Slusarski will look into Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. 12 is a defense check. Where is that ball being hit? That ball is hit toward first base. It's a range play for Mark McGuire, and his range is very suspect. His range is an F. McGuire stunk. And that's going to get past him, and that... That's going to be a base hit. Van Slyke will score. Varsha will make third. Bell will make first. Eight nothing in favor of the Pirates. Stadium cheers. Yay! Bad time for McGuire to not be able to make a range play. Here's Wilkerson coming into the batter's box. Wilkerson tonight is... 0 for 1 with 2 walks. Slusarski will look into Quirk for the sign. Actually, we are going to get activity in the Oakland bullpen here. As coming into, as starting to warm up. Is going to be... They're going to get Kirk Young warming up. This might be another night where the A's bullpen can do no right. But we'll find out. Slusarski will look in to Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the kick, and here's the pitch. Five is a tough 78, and it's going to be a fly ball into center field. Dave Henderson ranging back for that one. He'll make the catch, and that will retire the side. One run on two hits and a walk, and the score is now 8 nothing Pirates. After six. Yes. Top of the seventh, we'll see the middle of the Oakland order do up next. Smiley finishes up his warm up tosses. As stepping into the batter's box is Mike Gallego. Gallego today is 0 for 2. Pirates lead this game 6 of the World Series 8 0. Top of the 7th. Pirates are 9 outs away from winning the first World Series title on the channel. Smiley will look into Court Lavalier for the sign. He will set. Here's the windup, and here's the pitch. 7 is going to be a tough 35. And against the lefty, Gallego will get on base to lead off the inning with a base hit. Infield will go to double play depth, and here's Mark McGuire. McGuire today doesn't have an official at bat. He's got two walks. They are not running with Gallego, who's a bad base runner to begin with, and it's an eight-run game. Smiley will look into Lavalier for the sign. Pirates hoping for a double play ball here. Smiley will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a patient seven, and that's ball four. McGuire will find himself on with a one out with a nobody out walk. And the A's now have something cooking here. As now they got runners at first and second with nobody out. Here's Walt Weiss. Weiss today is 0 for 2. Gallego at second, McGuire at first. Smiley will turn to deal with Weiss. Gallego, not a threat to do much on the bases. Smiley will get the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the pitch. 11 is a wheelhouse 8. And against the lefty, Weiss is going to get a hold of that one. And that's going to be a double. 
at least one run is coming in. Deep drive to center field, one hops the wall. On a ground rule double, all runners will score, and that will put the A's on the board. Gallego and McGuire will both score. Weiss will be at second, and the score is now 8-2 to two A's. As the A's are saying, hold on, Pittsburgh. We're not quite ready to give you guys a victory parade yet. Susarski is going to come out of the game. Coming in to pinch hit for the A's is going to be... It's going to be Harold Baines. Baines hit four of his 20 home runs against left-handed pitching in 91. Smiley looking over to Weiss at second. Baines at the plate. Smiley will get the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the pitch. 11 is a wheelhouse 32. And Baines is going to continue the A's cutting into the lead with a boom. That ball is hit high. That ball is hit deep to left field. Bonds going back for that one. He's back to the track. Back to the wall, and that ball is gone. Home run, Harold Baines. And just like that, the score is now 8-4 to four in favor of the Pirates, as the A's are saying, not so fast, guys. We're not dead yet. Stadium groans. Ugh. And here's Quirk. Quirk today is... 0 for 1 with a strikeout, a walk, and an error. We're going to get some activity in the Pirates' bullpen as coming into, as starting to warm up. This is going to be Bob Patterson for the Pirates. The A's have already cut into this lead. Smiley will get this. Will, Smiley will pitch to Quirk. Smiley will get the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be a tough 58. And Quirk's going to ground that one over to third. Bonilla will pick that one up coming in for it. He'll charge it. He'll make the throw over to first and get Quirk by a couple of steps. And that's one out. And now we're back to the top of the Pirates' order. Here's Vance Law. Law today is one for three with a single. Smiley trying to get the Pirates out of the inning with no further damage. Three Rivers Stadium was all set to book their victory parades. The A's are saying, not so fast, guys. You got to earn this one. Smiley will get the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the pitch. Four is a ballpark check. Uh-oh, 16's wheelhouse, but Law does not have a lot of power. And he's got... What he's got is he's going to fly that one into right field. Varsho will get it. Will get into that one as Law got under that one. He'll make the catch, and that's out number two. Here's Canseco. Canseco tonight is over for 3. He reached on a fielder's choice. Back in the third. Smiley trying to get out of the seventh. Smiley will get the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is a patient 35. And Canseco will reach with a two-out walk. Here's Ricky Henderson. Henderson tonight is 0 for 3. Canseco, not a threat to do much on the base paths. Smiley will get the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the pitch. 12 is a defense check. Uh-oh, where is that ball being hit? It's a fly ball into right field on an error chance. Going after that for the Pirates is Varsho. His error rating is a 5. And he's not going to get that one. That's going to be... That's going to be a two-base error. Canseco's at third. Henderson's at second. 
on the E9, and the, the A's are saying, hold on, guys. This game is not over yet. Two outs, and here's Dave Henderson in a very dangerous situation. Pirates fans are stunned. Dave Henderson, though, is 0 for 3. Smiley trying desperately to get out of this inning. Smiley will get the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the pitch. 10 is a tough 70. And Henderson's going to lift that one into right field. Varsho will get under that one. He'll make the catch for the third out, and the side is finally retired. But the A's are back in this game. Four runs on... Four runs on... Two, three... Three hits, an error, two walks, a two-run homer by Harold Baines, and the score is now 8-4 Pirates as we head into the bottom of the seventh. As usual, I'm not going to torture you guys with my rendition of Take Me Out to the Ball Game, but I will get a quick stretch in. <clears throat> Ooh, I felt that one in my shoulder. All right, before we go into the bottom of the seventh, I will change my battery. First order of business, the A's need a new pitcher as they pinch hit for for Joe Slusarski, and got a two-run homer out of Harold Baines. Coming in to pitch for the A's will be Kurt Young. 4-2 and two with a 5 ERA, 68 and a third innings pitched, 74 hits, 8 homers, 34 walks, and 27 strikeouts in 91. The Pirates are going to pinch hit for John Smiley. Coming in to pinch hit for the Pirates will be... Um... They're going to bring in... They're going to bring in Lloyd McClendon to pinch hit for the Pirates. Six of his seven homers coming against left-handed pitching. Young will look into Quirk for the sign. What was 8-0 coming into the start of this game, of this inning, suddenly is now an 8-4 game. Pirates still leading, though. Young will look into Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be an in place seven. And McClendon's going to lead off the inning with a base hit as he gets that one out of the infield. Pirates, or the A's are going to go to double play depth. Here's Lavalier. Lavalier is... Lavalier is one for three with a single and a walk. McClendon, jump of four against a hold of seven. So they're going to hold him at first. A's are going to try for the double play. Young will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. He will kick. And here's the pitch. Three is a defense check. Where is that ball being hit for the A's? That ball is being hit to first base on a possible error chance. McGuire's error rating is a four. He couldn't make a range play earlier. Can he keep from making an error? Yes, he can. That's going to be an out, and that will be... That'll be a ground ball as a sacrifice hit. McClendon will make second. McGuire's only play is to first, and that will be one out in the inning. No double play chance, as Lavalier gives up a sacrifice hit. And here's Gary Reedus. Reedus today is two for four with a double and a homer. McClendon on its second. Young will turn and deal with Reedus. Young will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. Here's the pitch. 11 is a patient 16. And that's going to be ball four. Reedus will work a one-out walk out of the at-bat. The infield will go back to double play depth. And here's the ever-dangerous Barry Bonds. Bonds today is one for four with a single. McClendon at second. Reedus at first. One out. Three Rivers Stadium buzzing. They're hoping for a good hit. 
Young will look into Quirk for the sign. Bonds will brace for the pitch. Young will set. Here's the pitch. Five is going to be a patient 18. And Bonds is going to walk. And the bases are once again full of Buccaneers. And now you've got a very dangerous situation with Bobby Bonilla coming to the plate. Bonilla today is, is two for three with two singles and a walk. The infield, the infield is going to play the corners in. They don't want any more runs to score, but they also want to try to get out of the inning. So Young will look in and deal with Bonilla. McClendon at third. Reed is at second. Bonds at first. No place to put Bonilla. Young will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. Here's the pitch. Seven is going to be an in-place 65. And it's a ground ball over to second. Picking that one up is going to be Gallego. If the A's can't turn two, McClendon will score and it will be a six or less on 2D6. No! McClendon will come in to score. Rita's will make third. Bonds will be thrown out. Bonilla will hit into the fielder's, will reach on a fielder's choice. Two outs in the inning. Rita's to third. McClendon will score. And Bonilla's safe on the fielder's choice. But most importantly, the score is now 9-4 to four in favor of the Pirates. Here's Andy Van Slyke. Van Slyke today is, for, is 1 for 3 with a walk and a triple. Young will get the sign from Quirk. Three Rivers Stadium hoping to get more, but they've got a 5-run lead back. Young will set. Here's the pitch. 7 is going to be an in-play 43, and it's a ground ball over to 1st. McGuire will take that to the bag himself. He'll step on the bag, and that will retire the side. One run on one hit, two walks, and a sacrifice hit. And the score is now 9-4 to four Pirates after 7. Top of the 8th coming up, and the Pirates need a new pitcher for the middle of Oakland's order. Coming in to pitch for the Pirates will be Bob Patterson. 4-3 with a 4.11 ERA, 65 and two-thirds innings pitched, 67 hits, 7 homers, 15 walks, 57 strikeouts in 91. He is going to be charged with the second half of the Pirates' order, or with the A's order. Leading off the top of the eighth is Mike Gallego. Gallego today is 1-3 for three with a single. Patterson... We'll look into Lavalier for the sign. 9-4 Pirates. Pirates at one point led this game 8-0. And so the A's got 4 in the 7th. But will that be enough? Pirates are 6 outs away from the World Series. From the winning the World Series. A's need 5 runs before we start talking about the bottom of the ninth. Patterson will get the sign from Lavalier. He will set. Here's the pitch. 7 is going to be a tough 66, and it's a ground ball over to 2nd. Picking that one up is going to be Wilkerson. He'll make the throw over to 1st, ranging to his right, and there's one out. Here's Mark McGuire. McGuire today has 3 walks. He has not had an official at-bat today. Patterson will look into Lavalier for the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. Six is going to be an in place six. And against the lefty, McGuire will, will get it on base with a one-out base hit. That will bring the infield to double play depth. And do we have another shortstop? Yes, we... Uh, somebody who hits lefties well. Uh, no. We don't. So Weiss is actually going to have to stay in at shortstop. Weiss today is one for three with a double. 
Infield is at double play depth. Patterson would love to get a ground ball here. Patterson will look in at Lavalier. He will set. Here's the pitch. Five is a tough 52. And that's going to be a ground ball over to third. Benia will pick that one up. Can the Pirates turn two? Seven or less on 2d6. Side retired. Benia will pick that one up. He'll throw that over to Wilkerson at second. Wilkerson will turn and fire to Rinas. And that's going to be a 5-4-3 around the horn twin killing. Side retired. Stadium cheers. Yay! Especially since they know they're getting close to the first title on the channel. One, two, three, go the A's in the top of the eighth. We're going to get some activity in the Pirates bullpen as the Pirates want nothing cute here. They're going to get... They're going to get Stan Belinda warming up in the Pirates bullpen. The Pirates are done with this series, to be perfectly honest, and I can't say as I blame them. But before we get there, though, we've got the bottom of the Pirates order coming up. Stepping into the batter's box is Gary Varsho. Varsho today, tonight, is one for two with two walks and a two-run homer. Young will get the sign from Quirk. Young will set. Here's the pitch. Two is a wheelhouse 11. And Varsho, with his lack of power against lefties, will get on with a leadoff base hit. The infield will go to double play depth, as here's J. Bell. Bell tonight is, oh, is one for four with a single. Varsho not running in a five-run game. Young will look in at Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. Ten is a tough 65. And it's a ground ball over to second. Gallego will pick that one up, but let's see if they can turn the double play. It's going to be a 6 or less on 2d6. No! Varsha will be thrown out at second. Bell will make first on the fielder's choice. One out in the inning. Infield still at double play depth. And here's Wilkerson. Wilkerson tonight is 0 for 2 with 2 walks. Young Looking in at, looking in at Quirk for the sign. Wilkerson waits for the pitch. Bell at first. Young will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is going to be an in-play 15. And against a lefty, Wilkerson will get a hold of that one. And that's going to be a base hit. Soft blooper into left field. Runner on first advances one base. So it's on the S9. Bell will make it to second. Wilkerson will reach third on the one-out single. Patterson is going to come out of the game. Let me compile stats for him real quick. That won't take long. One inning pitched. One hit. Nothing else of note. Faced three batters. Who is going to come in to pinch hit for the Pirates? That's the next question. Uh, somebody who hits lefties coming in to pinch hit will be... Steve Buscelli is going to come in to pinch hit for the Pirates. He hit three of his four homers in 91 as a Pirate. Young will get the sign from Quirk. He knows he's got to be very careful with Buscelli. A mistake here probably puts Game 6 and the World Series out of reach for the A's. Young will set. Here's the pitch. Three is a defense check. Somebody's got to play defense. 
That ball is at the shortstop on a possible error chance. Shortstop tonight for the A's is Weiss. His error rating is a three. And he's going to boot that one, and that's going to be... That's going to be a one-base error. Bell will make it to third, Wilkerson to second. Buscelli is safe at first on the E6. And the bases are once again, for the third time this game, full of Buccaneers. The infield is going to play... Here's Lavalier. Lavalier today is tonight is one for three with a single, a walk, and a sacrifice hit. They are going to call the infield. They're going to call the corners in, try to get the runner at home, but also have a chance at a double play. Three River Stadium buzzing, hoping for more. They've already got a five-run lead. Young will look into Quirk for the sign. He will set. Here's the pitch. Six is a patient 37. And against the lefty, Lavalier will get a hold of that one, and that's going to be a base hit. Sharp liner drops in front of the left fielder. Runner on first advances one base. Runner on second advances one base plus. Let's see, that's an S7. So at the very least, Bell is score. Bell is going to score. Wilkerson will make third. Uh, Buscelli is going to make second. So Bell will score to make it ten to four. Pirates stadium cheers, yay! And then we have to decide if we're sending Wilkerson if we're going to test the left fielder's arm. The left fielder is Ricky Henderson with a seven arm. Wilkerson's got an eight run rating. They are not going to test him. Let's see, Bell was seven. Okay. Just making sure I've got my order straight. And the Pirates are threatening to blow this one wide open as the bases are still full of Buccaneers. Here's Gary Reedus. Reedus tonight is two for four with this double, a homer, and a walk. And we're going to get some activity in the Oakland bullpen do they go to their best guy just to stop the carnage? No, they're going to go... They're going to get Rick Honeycutt warming up. Oakland picked a very bad night to have a rough night. All right. Young will get the sign from Quirk. Young will set. Here's the pitch. Five is a patient 20, and Young's going to walk in another run. Wilkerson will come to the plate. He will score. Everybody moves up. Reedus is on with the base on balls. And the score is now 11-6 to six in favor of the Pirates. Stadium cheers. Yay! Here is the ever dangerous Barry Bonds. Bonds today is tonight is one for four with a single and a walk, and that is going to be it for Kirk Young. Let me compile stats for him real quick. Uh, he came in here. All right, so one, so one point. So we, actually, he went one and one and a third. Gave up one, two, three, four, four hits, three runs, and he might be giving up more because the base is full of Buccaneers is still going to be Young's problem. Walked three, struck out nobody. Total batters faced, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, coming in to pitch for the A's is going to be Rick Honeycutt. 2 and 4 with a 3.58 ERA, 37 and 2 thirds innings pitched. 37 hits, 3 homers, 20 walks, 26 strikeouts in 91. He has got to get the A's out of this inning for them to have anything resembling a chance. 
Honeycut will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. Here's the pitch. Nine is a patient 88. And instead, Honeycuts can let his frustration get the better of him and drill Bonds, and that's going to drive in another run. Smiley, not Smiley, Buscelli will come in to score. Lavalier will trot to third, Reedus to second, Bonds to first, 12 to four, Pirates. Stadium cheers. Yay! We knew the Pirates came home with the intention of winning the World Series. We didn't know how serious they were. Here's Bobby Bonilla. Bonilla tonight is two for four with two singles, a walk, and he reached on a fielder's choice. Honeycutt knows a mistake here puts the World Series completely out of reach. Again, it probably is already. Honeycutt will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. Here's the pitch. Three is an in-play 56, and it's a ground ball over to third with the corners in. That's going to be Law picking that one up. We need to see what happens on the infield in chart. A seven. Runner Lavalier is going to be out at the plate, and we need to roll a D10. If it's higher than seven, it's a... No! So Lavalier will be thrown out at the plate. Everybody else will advance on the fielder's choice. But there will be two outs in the inning. And the bases are still full of Buccaneers. Lavalier's thrown out. And that's our current situation with two outs in the inning. Here's Andy Van Slyke. Van Slyke today is one for four with a walk and a triple. Honeycutt trying to get the A's out of the inning. Honeycutt will look over to Reedus at third, but Bonds at second, Bonilla at first. Honeycutt will get the sign from Quirk. He will set. Here's the pitch. Eight is going to be a tough 82, and it's a fly ball into center field. Dave Henderson coming in for that one. He'll make the catch and that will retire the side. But what an inning, and dam more damage done. Four runs on, hold on, four? Seven, eight, nine, wait, three, okay, so four, eight, nine, 10, should be 14 to three? Hang on, I gotta check something. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. a fourth run scored, I think. Okay, Redis didn't score. No, Lavalier didn't score. Never mind. So only three runs. No, Bond, hold on. Bond scored on a hit by pitch. I don't remember who came in. I think that was McClendon who came in to score. Um, should have been one. There should have been one more run somewhere. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it three runs. I'm gonna take one of those runs. Um, this is bothering me now. Okay, we're just gonna call it three runs, since I can't find where that fourth run should have been. I'm gonna take one of those runs off the board, but it should be four, eight, nine, 10. It should be 13 to four Pirates after eight. Oop, other way, Phoenix. 13 to four Pirates after eight. Pirates are three outs away from winning the first World Series on the channel. And the top of the ninth, we'll see the top of the pirate of the A's order do up next. The 
The Oakland Athletics, heading into the top of the ninth, are running out of outs. And the last name they want to hear somehow is making his first appearance tonight trying to finish the A's off. That would be the closer, Stan Belinda. 7-5 and five with a 3.45 ERA, 78 and a third innings pitched. 50 hits, 10 homers, 35 walks, and 71 strikeouts. Now our question becomes, will we see some ninth inning magic? First order of business, Rick Honeycutt is going to come out of the game. I'm going to compile stats for him here real quick. He gave up, he went point, he went point one. So that should be one and two thirds for Young. He faced three batters, none of those. Did hit a batter. Okay. So Stan Belinda is coming in to pitch to try to finish off the A's. But in order to do that, he's going to look at the top of the A's order. Rick Honeycutt is definitely coming out of the game. Coming in to pinch hit for the A's is going to be... It's going to be Ernest Riles. All five of his homers coming against right-handed pitching in 91. The A's started this series with a 1-0 lead. Pirates are three outs away from becoming the only team in this replay to win a series after losing Game 1. Belinda will look into Lavalier for the sign. Belinda will set, and he will pitch. 7 is going to be a tough 15, and Riles is going to get frozen by a changeup for strike 3, and that's out number 1. Stadium cheers. Yay! And here's Quirk. Quirk tonight is 0 for 2. He's reached on a walk and an error. Belinda looking into Lavalier for the sign. Three Rivers Stadium has been alive all night. They know their Pirates are closing in on the title. Belinda will set. Here's the pitch. Eight. Is a patient out 76. And that's going to be a fly ball into center field. Getting under that one is going to be Van Slyke. He's going to make an easy catch. And that will be two outs in the inning. And the last chance for the A's comes down to Vance Law. Law tonight is one for four with a single. Pirates get this out. They win this 91 replay. A's get Law on base. Canseco comes to the plate, but the inning needs to be probably about another hour after that. Belinda will look in to Lavalier for the sign. Three Rivers Stadium is going to come unglued with this next out. Belinda will set. Here comes the pitch. Four is a wheelhouse 37. And it's grounded right back to Belinda. Three Rivers Stadium jumping up and down. Belinda is going to underhand that over to first. Getting to that, catching that at first is going to be, is going to be Renus. And that's it. That's your game. That's your series. That's your season. That's your championship. The Pittsburgh Pirates have won this 1991 World Series replay. And here come the Pirates. They're all mobbing Belinda on the mound. And here they all come. They're all mobbing Belinda on the mound. As the Pittsburgh Pirates have won this 1991 World Series, it is absolute pandemonium here at Three Rivers Stadium. As by a 13-4 score, the Pittsburgh Pirates win three straight games and take this 1991 World Series. Stadium going absolutely berserk. Yay, yay, yay! Final line score... Coming up. Uh, 
think each team had an error, didn't they? Uh, no. For the Pirates, 13 runs on 14 hits and one error. For the A's, four runs on five hits and no errors. Winning pitcher tonight is going to be John Smiley. Mike Moore is going to end up with the loss. And no holds. Are... Actually, Patterson and Belinda will both end up with holds. And the Pittsburgh Pirates are your 1991 World Series champions. They win this first replay on the channel. As for our next order of business, we need to pick an MVP. You're probably going to be surprised to hear that in a series that was dominated by offense, we're actually going to go with a pitcher as our first ever MVP on the channel. Because this pitcher did a lot, to, because in his two starts, this pitcher shut down the A's completely, allowing only two runs in his starts in a series that was dominated by offense. Our World Series MVP for 1991 is going to be the architect of the wins in games two and five. The MVP is going to be Zane Smith. So congratulations to Zane Smith and the Pittsburgh Pirates on the World Series. The commissioner on Phoenix Night Network now stepping out into the field, getting booed out of the building, and he's going to present the Pirates with the World Series trophy. And that will close out this replay, this 1991 season replay for Payoff Pitch Baseball. Thank you very much for tuning in during the playoffs in this series. The regular season was, of course, done off the channel, but I put the playoffs on the channel. I've told that story before on what happened there. So that will do it for this replay, for this pay, this game of Payoff Pitch Baseball. The Pirates win the World Series. Zane Smith is your MVP. As for what's coming up on the channel, Wednesday we're playing Twilight Inscription from Fantasy Flight. Saturday, Mystical Munchies out of the Star Wars Galactic Galaxy's Edge Black Spire Outpost Cookbook will continue with the entree Fried and Dorian Tip Yip. Sunday, we're playing Space Corp 2025 to 2300 from GMT Games. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.